Driver, start your engines! Welcome to Racing with Mason. In this series, you'll see yours truly me, Mason D, on location at the track, off the pace, and in the pack, behind the wheel, over the wall, in every race, I include y'all. You ready? Let's, Let's go! go. Racing with Mason, if you're looking for a real good time, Racing with Mason, we'll see you at the start. Yeah, buddy. Did you ever see them downhill Barbie Jeep races? Intoxicated adults with GoPros attached to their helmets hold on for dear life as they try to control a tiny plastic kid's car meant for sidewalk and driveway use only down a treacherous dirt mountain? It never ends well for the daredevil pilots, but the fans who line the course and also the fans at home who gobble up all the video content they can find, well, they're quite entertained and amused by the thrills and the spills. So that's why I started my search for a downhill Barbie Jeep race. I was willing to risk it all for the entertainment of our viewers an audience. Well, thankfully for me, I didn't find a downhill race, but I did stumble upon the Power Racing series, which could also be called Power Wheels for Adults. These folks might use the body of a kid's Power Wheels car, but everything under the plastic is serious business. Electric go-karts mostly built from scratch with up to 48 volts power and an electrical motor strong enough to transport a full-size adult and solid enough to endure several races throughout the weekend, including a 75-minute endurance race as the main feature. Well, that takes some major engineering and technology. I only had about a month to go from zero to on the track and racing at Maker Fair, Milwaukee, so I thought I was being smart by buying a used kids electric go-kart off of Facebook Marketplace. In fact, I made a deal to buy two off the feller. Time's a wasting. Let's get modifying. So I could probably fix up this here electric go-kart and sell it to a family and probably make a whole lot more money than I spent on it, right? But I'm going adult power wheels racing, y'all, so we got to modify this thing. Now, first thing, I try to get in here. It's got an adjustable seat and I can fit, right? But can you imagine like trying to drive this thing like this for like an hour or so or however long these races are? So it's like, oh no, that ain't gonna work. So uh, I gotta modify the seat, right? So first things first, gotta take this here uh, uh, seat out. And oh boy, there's a big hole right there where the uh, seat used to be in. And uh, well, Luckily, luckily it's uh, almost hunting season, so somebody's bound to like shoot down a road sign or something because that would make a real nice uh, uh, floor pan uh, uh, right there. But anyway, th this thing, this roll bar here is in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it. I'm going to start cutting up high and probably right up here. And I might have to take this part out too, but I might want that for some support or I might hook another bar in there and stuff. So we're going to chop it. Let's go. Let's see if I fit in this thing now. Imagine ah! it's a little hot right there. So, I don't know, there's a couple ways I could go about this. One is I could probably mount the uh, big seat up here, but it might be more entertaining to uh, put the Barbie seat in there. So, this came out of the Barbie Jeep and kind of fits real good right there. So, let's see what I, I got here. Oh yeah, I've reached the gas pedal and the brake pedal so much more. Still leaning over too much for the uh, steering wheel, so maybe I get the steering wheel up here, maybe even up here. Uh, so yeah, this feels a lot more comfortable. Okay, as I kind of figured, these bars, which I left long just in case they would come in handy for something, uh, they ain't. They're just in the way, so I'm going to trim these uh, bars off and uh, then we'll get ready to uh, put the seat in here. Let's go. Nice part about electric carts is uh, once you take the battery out and ain't got gas or dust to worry about blowing it up, so uh, much safer uh, working on there. So, yeah, that looks pretty good, don't it? All right. Let's try to 
to say now. I'm going to mount some threaded rods up here and a butt on this back bar too so that'll help us get the uh, uh, seat uh, off the motor and away from the heat and stuff and then we'll uh, uh, figure out how we're going to mount that in there. So I've also been modifying the uh, uh, steering wheel here so we're going to hopefully got that at a lower angle. Going to get a longer extension on that. We're going to be sitting pretty here buddy. Check this out. I took the existing seat mount that I took out from this section right here and I mounted it up here on top of the motor and the battery and everything so um so we get about 15 more inches pushed back and a little bit more height so that should give me a lot more now the big decision is what do I go with the seat because I got the barbie jeep seat right so I could take the barbie jeep seat put this in here and see that that like that I extended the steering wheel here and if I get in the barbie jeep there and uh, yeah not much uh, back support here but uh, it's an option or I got the actual race seat that was down here right it fits it perfectly right in there right but I can put that up here so Oh yeah, that feels so much better. I was excited to find these carts all ready to go with a 48 volt battery pack, a powerful 1000 watt electric motor, hydraulic brakes, and a solid tubular frame. This was going to be an easy build. I also mentioned on the radio that I was looking for a Power Wheels car, and that same afternoon a listener gifted me a bright pink Barbie Jeep. Having a second cart for spare parts didn't help though when all four spindles were trash. But after I installed my new spindles on the frame and took it for a test drive, I was devastated to find out that even though the wheels turned, the cart kept going straight. I spent hours at YouTube University's night school for go-kart fabricators and learned all about Ackerman steering, anti-Ackerman steering, and how caster and camber and toe-in and toe-out were all affecting the steering geometry. I made lots of changes but didn't improve it. So at this point, I took it to a car mechanic with a welder to see what he could come up with. Racing with Mason. On the track or in the pits. You're watching Racing with Mason on Power 2 TV. Hey y'all, it's getting to be crunch time here on the Barbie Jeep Adult Power Wheels race. Uh, I got the uh, uh, Barbie Jeep cut up, but uh, we just two days away from the race and I got to get this thing mounted on to the, the go-kart now. Uh, uh, to cut this thing up I thought it was just gonna be easy like cutting the top of the body off or just unscrewing it but no this thing is all one big tub so we got the rear end the front end. we can throw this part here away that's where the uh, feet go and the axles go and all that so we're done with that part now I've had the go-kart in the repair shop for the last week uh, had to take it to a front-end expert because we could not get this thing to steer right and we made it a lot better a lot of a lot of different uh, uh, modifications we was doing on the uh, uh, steering. There's so much math and geometry that goes into it. It's crazy. Um, hey, originally I was going to put the uh, seat back here above the motor in the battery, but uh, I think I need more weight up front because we needed more weight on them tires up there. And uh, uh, we're going to do a driver change on Sunday, and it was still a little bit too far back from my co-driver barbecue. Going to be driving the barbecue. We named this thing. It's called the Barbecue Ridge Runner. That's what it is. And Barbecue, she's going to be uh, driving on on uh, Sunday and she's a little too short so to reach the pedal so I had to mount it. So now we got an adjustable seat here but it's still too short right and uh, I have to still do something get this this uh, steering wheel has to go up a little bit more hopefully get a different angle on that I've been messing with it I had it real nice when the seat was in the back but now it ain't so uh, anyway so what we're dealing with is we got to mount this 
Bar Barbie Jeep up here and we only got 62 inches of length to work with and I first fitted it up there and uh, well it uh, was a little bit too long so we're gonna have to try to get this thing tighter I really do like how this is fitting though this uh, fits real on here real nice so it's just about the same width it needs to be and everything so I do like the back I had it sitting a little bit farther back I want to drill some holes get it up a little closer maybe do some more trimming so we're gonna get busy modifying this uh, body got backs gonna go on real nice I'm a little concerned about how we're gonna get the front on still got to get wood bumpers on there a uh, battery cutoff switch whole bunch of things still need to be done to it so uh, time to get busy <laughs> Okay, y'all, we mounted up the uh, back side of the Barbie Jeep. I just got to make sure I could still fit the battery in because I want to be able to uh, uh, do quick disconnect and swap out batteries if I need to. Let's see if I can get this in here now. Oh, no, oh, no, where's now? Got to chop the wheels before I put the battery in there. He'll roll away. Maybe we could do it from the top. Let's see if I can drop it in this way. Just slide it right under, under the seat. That'll work. Well, I run out a month before I had the Barbie Jeep where I wanted it, but if it wasn't for the last minute, a lot of things wouldn't get done. Well, last day to work on the Barbie Jeep. The race is tomorrow. Holy cow, we still have so much to do. Got the uh, uh, steering wheel hooked up, seats all hooked up. Got the back end of the uh, Barbie Jeep. Uh, we got that bolted on. Got the seat adjusted, locked in. Got the rear bumper put on. But so much to do still. And this is the fun part though. We get to put the uh, uh, front of the Barbie Jeep on. I got it it out right about there their doors still work so uh you know clear of the wheels and now it can only be 62 inches long and we about right there it's real close so uh, uh but the real challenging thing is we got to put a bumper on this now the bumper i normally put there but that's about a foot back from the barbie bumper so it has to be four to six inches high so i got to get something down here so i got to probably put a projectile out here and then put a bumper maybe hang it from the barbie jeep i don't know but i'm just gonna put this on with tie wraps so uh, uh it could be snipped off and removed if i had to uh, i had to uh, uh do some trimming of the dashboard and um I lost the barbecue so uh gotta get the half inch uh hole saw and drill that in there so we can put the uh, barbecue back in so make sure we can uh, uh, uh get this thing started right all right, well, uh, I'm going to zip tie this down, and uh, we'll see if we uh, get it going. Yeah, buddy. All right, y'all. Barbie Jeep body is mounted. That's pretty good with the tie straps, and uh, I'm able to put a couple of uh, big, thick zip ties on each side of the seat, so that's uh, uh, keeping the seat all sturdy, and, and uh, this is an important part. I mean, I still got to do the a uh, battery cutoff switch I still got to do the front bumpers still got to get the steering figured out but we got to get this uh, uh, barbecue mounted in I had to cut it out because it was in the way of the steering column so here we go got the old 5 8 uh, spade bit here let's see if we can get this drilled out hopefully this will work Where did I put that key switch? Haha, <laughs> clip right in there. There we go. Barbie Jeep key is ready to go. Rum, rum, rum. Yeah, buddy. Alright, I think it's time to uh, give this thing a little test drive. Ha <laughs> ha, we 
we go on Barbie Jeep racing. Hello, Mattel Incorporated. Mason Dixon here. Still waiting to hear from you on that race of Mason Dixon Hot Wheels car, but I just found out that you own Power Wheels too. I know you already have the Power Wheels Disney Princess Jeep Wrangler, the Disney Frozen Jeep Wrangler, the Spider-Man Hot Wheels Rainbow Unicorn Realtree Jurassic Park Jurassic World Dino Damage Jeep Wrangler, the Disney Encanto Disney Pixar Toy Story, the Camping Jeep, the Game Day Jeep, and you even have a JoJo Siwa Jeep Wrangler. What? Well, Mattel, I think you need to have a Race of Mason Dixon Barbecue Ridge Runner Jeep. It's like your popular Barbie Jeep Wrangler, but better. Barbie kicks Ken to the curb and goes on an adventure with Mason. Life is more exciting when Barbie and Mason is running shine through them Appalachian Hills with revenueers hot on our tail. It can pay tribute to the ingenuity of the moonshiners who souped up their vehicles and had all sorts of tricks and gimmicks designed to get away. I tell you what, it's gonna be a big seller, and I'll even do your TV commercials. Go get yourself a Power Wheels Racing Mason Dixon Barbecue Ridge Runner Jeep Wrangler, the most powerful toy car in its class. Alright y'all, so here it is, the Barbie Jeep. It's called Barbecue's Ridge Runner. I'm gonna put the moonshine under the hood there. Uh, got the front bumper. Look at that front bumper, man. That could be a push truck out there. I tell you what, it's like there. It's about, what, six feet of uh, uh, space there. And should put some springs on it or something. something and a sound effect there. Uh, back bumper secured there. Uh, uh, so yeah, everything's uh, good to go except for the battery cutoff. I tried to get this uh, key switch uh, approved as the battery cutoff. They said no. So I had to put one back here by the battery. So it'll be right there. Um, anyway, y'all, so uh, we gonna get uh, uh, this loaded up, heading to Milwaukee for the race tomorrow. And I'll have to uh, wire in that uh, battery cutoff switch somewhere, uh, uh, somewhere along the line, maybe tonight or something. But uh, uh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, buddy, so... Uh, Key on, reverse, and here we go. The 75 minute endurance race on Sunday is broken up into five 15 minute segments where all carts must come in and either change drivers or do a driver costume change each segment. I recruited Barbecue since her name is Barbie and we had a Barbie Jeep. That probably wasn't a good idea. During the testing session the day before the race, we discovered driving a Barbie Jeep cracks Barbecue up to the point where she couldn't function. <laughs> Well, folks, he's done it again. Here's the latest hit song for Mark Dawson, Power Wheels Racing. You're throwing out your kids' toys. They no longer bring your kids joy. They've moved on to sophisticated things. There's a group I know of who will give that toy car more love In fact, they'll make those electric motors scream These folks are kinda nerdy, but the girls, they are so pretty And they know a little bit about battery chemistry They'll travel quite a distance, and you'll like them in an instant Cause they don't take themselves too seriously they go power wheels racing, yes they do They fix 
them up much better than brand new They have so much potential The brain power is essential And this is what these brilliant people do They go power wheels racing Tell me why Would anybody give this sport a try? Did they lose a wager? Or funk their college major? They just want to make their mama cry Now I might not comprehend them But I'd certainly defend them They're out there trying to be number one And you might not need a reason To race children's cars next season Just do it to say you did it It might be fun They go power wheels racing Yes they do they fix them up much better than brand new They have so much potential The brain power is essential And this is what these brilliant people do They go power wheels racing Tell me why Would anybody give this sport a try? Did they lose a wager? Or funk their college major? Or they just want to make their Cry. They just want to make their mama cry They just want to make their mama cry They say you can't cross the finish line at first you don't cross the starting line As long as we pass the tech inspection on Saturday morning we'd be taking that green flag for all the weekend scheduled races So with the victory of building a Power Wheels Jeep already behind us everything else will be a bonus And I'm fixing to share that bonus with you This was just part one Come on back for part two and watch the Barbie Jeep in action on the track Here's some scenes from the next exciting episode of Racing with Mason Three, two, one. show want more then head to watch pttv.com the new 100 percent free power tube tv streaming network home of the best classic and new motorsports racing and build shows on the web